is amazing. This new footage. Um, of course, it wouldn't be a special box set without some additional bonus features, and this <laughs> this set has plenty. Um, one is Hanging with Batman is the name of one of the features, and it's sort of a slice of life with you, Adam. Spending <laughs> some time with you, Adam West. <laughs> TV's Batman. I'm amazed at how the clarity of that thing we just saw yeah. is fantastic. And you can see every grain of sand as it comes out. You know, Catwoman, <laughs> Julie, you were wonderful as Catwoman. You gave me the curious stirrings of my utility belt. <laughs> There's also, I think, somebody else here who played Catwoman in our movie, yeah. our earlier feature, is Leanne Merriweather. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Is she here? There's a little bonus here. Is Mary with her? I heard that she was somewhere out oh. there. Here she is, standing up right over there. Oh. Wow. Wow. wow! You see, I may wear glasses, Lee, but I have pretty good eyes. I spotted you out there. Wow! a fair fight. We've got two heroes and two supervillains. Now it's a fair fight. <laughs> Doesn't she look wonderful? I love yeah. you, Lee. By the way, she's in Miss America. You all know that, don't you? Yeah. yeah. Some of the other bonus features on the box set, uh, a segment called Holy Memorabilia Batman, <laughs> which talks to three Batman memorabilia collectors and uh, looks at all the, the rare merchandise that came out in the 60s. I mean, Bert, you must remember, in the 60s, it seems like there was a countless number of, of items uh, available with Batman and Robin on Oh, absolutely, and, and you know, still when we go out and uh, sign autographs and stuff, people have kept those items, and they bring them up, oh. the old lunch boxes, and, uh, trading cards, and, yeah. and some birds. I just wish you'd take the old lunch out of the box. <laughs> <laughs> it's only 40 years old. <laughs> go on, Bert. <laughs> Well, there's a lot, a lot of items, and there's a lot of new items, too. I, I, one of the things that really impressed me was the fact that they have these new caricature figures of, of Batman, Robin, I believe even uh, Thanks to Warner Batman, Brothers. that are so realistic. I mean, you, you know, you can see the skin texture. You, I mean, I, I looked at them online, and they actually looked like photographs, but I think they're really spectacular. And, you know, we are thrilled, I can speak for Adam and Julie, to be here to see you all because you guys are what made our show successful. Mm, and I'm kind of happy you. that we brought some happiness yeah. to you guys growing up. Yeah, there. you did. Woo! Yeah! Yeah! You know, if nothing else, what we love to do is deliver the laughs and make you guys happy. <laughs> that makes us happy. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. For many years. And you're wrong. Thanks. You've been a fan like no other. <laughs> and stay away from my hotel room. I'm sorry. <laughs> Shouldn't have told me where you were staying. <laughs> um, Batmania Born is another segment uh, in the bonus features, which is all about building the world of Batman through art and design. Uh, Bats of the Round Table, a candid dinnertime conversation with Adam and some celebrity fans are going to be sitting around the table talking about the series. Inventing Batman, in the words of Adam West. I understand, Adam, you've taken your scripts from the first two episodes and you've gone over your, your original script notes and talked about them, right? Yes, thank you, Ralph. I have, and, and that's part of the, the package. Um, my original <laughs> script, um, you know, like the pilot, the first show, and I have a lot of scribbling in it that got me to the character the way I played it. Nobody believed that they wanted me because I wasn't serious enough. <laughs> you were in a Nestle ad. That's how the producer found you, right? <laughs> Cho that's chocolate. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> when the show went on the air, it was an immediate hit. You guys knew you had a hit on your hands once it aired. While you were shooting those first two episodes, though, shooting that pilot, did you, did you have any idea this was going to be a special thing that you were working on? Yeah. Well, you, you have, you have yeah go ahead, Julie, please. <laughs> well, 
you said it. You have you had so much fun doing it. Every single actor that did in these roles said it was the best role of their lives. Um, you just knew it. You felt it. The writing was so brilliant. Wow. The ideas, the lighting. Uh, there was special lighting for each uh, villain. Uh, one would have green lighting. The Joker, the Joker would have. And then uh, uh, mine was kind of golden, and the, and the whole tilted cameras, and in the, the uh, see color television was just coming into itself in the '60s, and so this was an especially brilliant show. To and they spent a lot of money on it. Uh, for, for for me, and I think possibly for Adam, you know, we were working like 14 hours a day, and. Uh, you, when you sh film something, you, you do it in really little pieces. And, and the way it works is that uh, you have like maybe a minute maximum of, of what's going to be the action. And you sit there for 45 minutes and wait while they light and they change yeah. this and that doesn't work and all of this. And then you finally get up there and when you work, I mean, it's, it's terrific and you have to build that energy for that moment that you're up there, but still, until Adam and I actually saw the first episode, we didn't know there were going to be pows and zaps. We, you know, and, and when you're in front of the camera with the lights in your eyes, you can't see all that terrific lighting that Julie was describing. So for us, when we actually saw the first episode and we saw all these little pieces that we spent six weeks in filming, double takes, triple takes, all of a sudden it came alive. And it's spectacular, and it was spectacular for me, and I think it's because Batman, our series, worked that it has stayed for generations for you guys growing up and be for your kids and their kids because it works and it's very special and there's a lot of love and heart that all of the performers and the crew yeah. put into this show. It's very special. Yeah. Yeah. We knew. We knew from the very beginning that we were on to something because uh, 20th Century Fox and ABC and all the others were so excited and they were really beating the drums and it was the first of its kind. It was yeah. in color yeah. and two shows a week with a cliffhanger, of course, in between. Yeah. So the excitement on the set, and the excitement when the show broke Ralph was incredible. So the only way I could tell that we were onto something besides our daily work and belief in it, I went to a, a market in Malibu, up the road from where I live, to get a steak and a six pack. <laughs> <laughs> that was the night of the airing of the first show. Well, I was waiting at the checkout stand behind people, and the women kept yelling, hurry, hurry, Batman's on tonight, get us out of here. I had a feeling yeah. it was all over for me. <laughs> it was all just beginning. There's no more anonymity. <laughs> we were talking about some of the bonus features available on the box set of the uh, Blu-ray DVD box set. I want to show you a little piece of one of them. This was called uh, Batmania Born. Again, this is looking about the, the, the art behind the fiction. The extras are really going to make Batfans happy, I think. Here's a couple minutes from Batmania Born. <laughs> 